complete our job. Here my assistant Brandon is holding the PVC while I cut it. Comes off just as simple as that. Now that we have our cut piece of PVC, same thing again. PVC cement on the outside and PVC cement on the inside of this valve. Put it in, hold it, Oop, we're dripping. Hold it, put it hard in, good. Now we're going to connect this to this and complete our gun and chamber. Cement once again for the final time on the outside and on the inside. Hold it. Okay. Just take it, you got your completed PVC gun. This is your trigger. Boom. Pressurize it through the valve stem here, and you're done. Big warning though, do not pressurize this now. This PVC cement needs at least 24 hours to set, or any number of these uh, seams could just blow up, causing serious injury to you or other people around you. So do not pressurize this now, wait at least 24 hours. And another thing, this PVC I have here is rated at 280 PSI, this at 600. Don't go anywhere near it. Leave a lot of leeway. The air compressor I have can do 90 PSI, so 280 is plenty of leeway. So I won't get injured at all, as long as I let it dry. Now that it's been 24 hours, the PVC cement should have set, should be safe for pressure, and it's time to do a pressure check. Take a standard air compressor, just like you do for your car or other vehicle, and hold it up to this. Just give it a little air. If you don't hear any leaks anywhere, it's good, airtight, and that's what you want. Now it's time to fire it. Give it a little more air. Or not. firing a double-A battery that happens to fit perfect in here. Let's just load it in, make sure it's all the way at the end, aim and turn the valve. <laughs> Alright, now it's your turn to try. Just hold that up to it, pressurize it until you don't hear anything. Alright, that's good. Alright, set that down. Close your battery. Okay, now take aim at your target. So it's always speed. I'm gonna miss. Doesn't matter, just aim at your target and turn the valve as fast as you can. There you go. Okay, now that we fired our air can, I'll show you some other ways you can assemble it. You can put on a pressure uh, gauge, for instance. I have a brass valve instead of a PVC one. And because of that, it's got a screw in it. So I can screw on this size barrel, or this size, or any size I want. So I'll show you how this one fires too, so to show you can really do it. Yes? Yeah, and you missed. Brick. <laughs> what was that? As you can see, there are many modifications you can do to an air cannon to increase its efficiency and more importantly, its safety. So whether your house is getting broken into or you're just plain bored, I hope that you can now see that the air cannon is a viable source of entertainment and personal protection. Yeah!